Yeah, thanks, for, Tom, for introduction. And uh, I'm really glad to be here to talk about uh, a topic about how to design a better transformer. And today's topic is, uh, name is the nested hierarchical transformer to also the accurate uh, data efficient and uh, interpretable uh, very understanding. So to begin with, uh, let's take a look about the convolution networks, which has been successfully dominant the field of computer vision for over a decade. It has been applied uh, in almost all of kind of vision uh, tasks from the cloud to the edge. So this is how the convolution works. So the given input images with RGB3 channels, the ConvNets will perform convolutions with nonlinear uh, activations using its small learnable kernels like sliding window and then generate the feature maps. So the feature maps are actually then max put into uh, the generate another layer level of feature maps with reduced uh, feature map size. So when the feature maps are reduced, the, the receptor field of the cur small kernels will actually be increased. So basically the small kernel can gather a wider range of pixels to learn the correlation about them. So, so the uh, long term shot, so the convolutions with pooling will generate feature maps. That is how convolution works in reality. So in recent two years, the vision transformer come to the stages and start to demonstrate um, a stronger abilities over ComNAS over many applications. Tom, uh, before my presentation, has introduced many interesting applications in vision domains. So transformer architecture is originally developed in the natural language processing domains uh, to understand sequences like uh, language and speech. So the vision transformer papers published uh, three years ago found that such an architecture also works really well if we treat images, patches, as a sequence of input to the network. So, uh, uh, so the, the VIT paper actually mostly resemble the original design of transformer used for uh, natural languages. And uh, this is basically contain a stack of uh, uh, multi-head uh, self-tension layers. So self-tension actually plays a core concept in this uh, uh, self, uh, the transformer architectures because it actually allow any token to communicate each other to achieve global communication. That actually makes the design totally different how the ConvNets works. 